podcast. Okay, guys, we're going to cook artichokes today. Now, this is an artichoke. It's not really that attractive, is it? Or I guess it could be, depending on how you look at it. An artichoke is actually a blossom. And if you didn't grow up eating these things, you may think, well, those are a little odd. And besides that, how do I eat them? And what do I put on them? And what part is edible? In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to cook them. I'm gonna show you the best sauces to use on them. And it, it, it all starts with picking out the right ones. And I, I picked out two really good ones from my grocery store here. And they're not expensive. These ranged, I think, around $1.99, something like that. They can go up to $3.99, $4.99, still well worth it. Um, but they're really cool things to eat. And I'm gonna take you through the entire process in this video. These are really flowers or buds. And these leaves right here are called bracts. Each one is called bracts. They kind of got a sharp point on it, which we're gonna take care of in just a second. Now, part of these leaves you can eat and part you cannot eat. And then um, sometimes you can eat the stem and I'm going to tell you when you can eat that and when you shouldn't eat that. Then on the inside is the artichoke heart and you're going to love it. Wait till you see that. Um, you're, it's it's going to blow your mind how delicious this item is if you haven't had it before. Now, there's a bunch of ways of cooking artichokes. You could braise them, you could steam them, you could grill them. One of my favorite ways of doing it is to steam an artichoke and you can use different types of vessels for steaming you could use one of these steamer baskets here this one here is too small for the size artichokes i have you could use a steamer like this which fits these exactly and i i cooked these artichokes for years in this one pot and then i bought an instant pot and i gotta tell you the instant pot is probably the best way i found to cook an artichoke and that's what we're going to do today but keep in mind if you've just got a steamer and you don't have an instant pot it doesn't matter steamer works just as well just takes a little bit more time now picking the right artichoke is really important because if you pick one that's not good if it's not ripe, if it's overly ripe it's not going to be good so you want to pick ones that have a little bit of weight to them if they feel hollow they're probably old and you probably don't want them. Also, these leaves should be closed around here. If they're all opened up, it's probably dried out. You probably want to stay away from that. So the first thing I want to get into is getting this artichoke ready to cook because there is some preparation. So let's get on that right now. Now, the first thing I like to do is kind of trim them up and I'm going to take off the top of this because there's really nothing edible in here. I like to use a serrated knife like this or a bread knife and I'm just going to cut off the top. So it should look something like that when you're done. Okay, so we've got the tops trimmed off and you're starting to see some of that inside choke in both of these. Now, the next thing I like to do is clean up the stem. I pull off any of these loose leaves here. And then what I wanna do is get this fibrous area on the stem here taken away. Sometimes these stems can be incredibly tender and delicious, but you don't really know. Uh, and sometimes they can be so fibrous you can't eat it. So what I do is I peel them in hopes they're gonna be edible. So I peel it down about like that, and hopefully it's gonna be edible. I'm gonna cut off the end of it here. And that stem is now done, so we'll go ahead and do the other one. The only guarantee is that the heart on the inside will be really good. That's always a given. Okay, the next part I'm gonna do is not necessary. Eh, it kinda is, it'll keep you from getting stuck, but I wanna clip off the edge of every one of these leaves like this where that sticky part is. It's got a thorn in there that will get you. You can't eat any of this leaf, this part. You can eat the base of it, which I'm gonna show you. And that one's ready to go, just like that. Pretty nice, huh? Okay, we've got our artichokes all cleaned up now. They look nice, they're all trimmed up, and they're ready to go. That's all there is to it. It doesn't take a lot of work. Now, you're gonna find these artichokes in some pretty upscale restaurants. And when you get an artichoke at a restaurant, you're gonna pay for it. You're gonna pay $12, $15 for one of these. And it's something you could do at home and I pay $2 a piece for these. So this is one of those recipes that you can go to a gourmet restaurant and pay a lot of money. You just do it yourself at the house. Now, if you're using an Instant Pot, you wanna use one of these trivet things right here with the handles. This will help you lift the artichokes out of here. So I like using that and setting that down on the inside. If you're using a steamer, of course, you're going to have it in a steamer basket. Don't let the artichokes sit in water. You don't want to boil them. You want to steam them. Okay, so then I'm just going to add my water to it. And I don't want that water to come up to the top. So just below that is all I need. Okay, I'm going to put my artichokes in there. I'm going to have them facing opposite each other so they have a lot of spacing in there. Put on the lid and get it started. 
Okay, I'm gonna set it for pressure cook. And in this case here, I like mine really well done. I like them soft, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and up this. I'm gonna set it for 45 minutes, which is way more than what you need. You can cook it at 20 to 25. I just happen to like them really well done. If you're steaming them in a pot, about an hour is gonna work for you just right. Okay, now the fun part, we're gonna talk about sauces. Okay, we're gonna throw calories out the window. Overall, an artichoke is pretty darn healthy. I mean, a medium artichoke actually has zero fat. It has no saturated fat. It, has, it doesn't have any fat, okay? It's got 21% of your dietary fiber though, and it's only got three carbohydrates. So if you're on a low carb diet, this is perfect. In addition to that, it's got 19% of your vitamin C and 15% of your magnesium and 10% of your potassium. They're really healthy. Now we're gonna do the unhealthy part. We're gonna go ahead and make the sauce, but you're gonna love it. Okay, so we're gonna make two sauces here. Simple, simple ingredients, guys. This is so easy. The first one is gonna have mayo, Worcestershire, and mustard. I know, that sounds like an odd combination, right? It's not, it's really good. And the second one, all we're gonna do is take some gochujang, and we're gonna add some mayo to that and make a little bit of a spicy sweet sauce. You're gonna love it. You can also use melted butter on this if you want. I don't think I need to show you how to do melted butter, do I? I mean, come on. Now we're gonna make the little bit spicy sauce. It's gonna have gochujang in it, but you could also use sriracha for this. If you want a less sweet sauce, you add a little sriracha to mayo. If you've ever had the spicy mayo in a Japanese restaurant, that's essentially what they've done. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of that in there. Then you just wanna cover these with some plastic wrap, put them in your fridge, and wait for those artichokes to get done. Okay, once your artichokes are done, lift the lid. Be careful for the steam. You can take them out with some tongs or you can use that trivet. Okay, they're all done and now it's time for the taste test. The leaves should pull off very gently just like that. You can see it's cooked all the way through and we're just going to scrape our teeth across the top and bottom and slide out the fiber and you're going to eat the meat. Okay, you can see how Jessica is just sliding her teeth across that, getting the meat off there. It's delicious. Now I'm getting my chance at it and it's great. Now Jessica likes to get some French bread, dip it in there, in that sauce, and she loves it. Yeah, how, how can mayonnaise and mustard, a little bit of Worcestershire be bad, right? So here I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the heart. Uh, and this one just pulled right out. Sometimes you have to pull off those leaves, but this one just pulled right out. And you wanna take your knife at an angle and angle it down into the heart. You can see me doing that, and I'm gonna go all the way around because those little fibers kind of stick down, so you want to cut down at an angle, probably a 45 degree angle, something like that. And once I cut all the way around here, you're gonna see I'm gonna pull this right on off. There you go. And this bottom part right here, this is the heart. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what's so delicious. And now the taste test. There it is, you can see it's nice and soft. And I think the expression on my face kind of says it all. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It will just melt in your mouth. It is awesome. Okay, so there you have it. How to select the right artichoke, how to cook the artichoke, and if you didn't know how to do it, how to eat an artichoke. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click that button down there. Subscribe to the channel. Turn it from red to gray. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it. You want to see more recipes like this, and turn on all bell notifications. Hey, I appreciate you watching this video. If you've got ideas for other recipes or you have a comment on eating artichokes, put it in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video.